Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rattle Bunny's Den and uh, another episode of Transport Fever 2. This time as you're looking at it, this is the station we end up building here at Tolstoy. We're going to do some food delivery today, um, which entails our uh, building our first train, which ought to be a lot of fun. So we get started here. Uh, this is the food factory over here at uh, Tolstoy, food factory, whatever you'd like to call it. I'm going to put this right here. Wow, that's convenient. Lines up pretty good. Hmm. Which way are we going to come in? We'll put it there. And now we got to look at our, our route here. Looks like we're going to have some islands, and there's our closest farm. So we'll put another train stop in here. I have to borrow the last of what we can borrow. This is going to be a bit of a risk. We're maxing out the loan, and uh, it's going to be a bit before we make some more money. We are, uh, this is uh, January uh, 1855. We are paused at the moment, so it shouldn't continue going. So this is just going to pop in here. I'll straighten this out a bit. All right. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so first two train stations are in. We have to traverse this little peninsula and we'll probably do some island hopping in here and, and try to uh, yeah, just make this as scenic as possible. And let's check out a couple of things here. Let's get the track together. Could go right across this channel and forget the island hopping. Oh, that's over a million dollars just for a bridge. And what would that block? It's obviously not tall enough to let anything under. Check this out here. Yeah. Now we're going to do the island hopping idea. Um, probably come right across here. Yeah, and onto this island. Let's give us a target to shoot at. Um, yeah. Let's. Uh, well, first let's set our bridge preference here. I like this blonde bridge. I really like that one. I don't know why I'm kind of stuck on it. We're in the 1800s, so everything is stone. Yeah, we'll do that one there. Gives us a target to shoot at. All right. Yeah, let's do that there. Okay, so we're going to have to wind our way around here. Um, the terrain here is not flat. It's a pretty good valley we're going to have to cross here. I don't like how steeply that's got to go down. It's a bit of... A little bit steep. Let's raise that up a little bit, see what that does to us here. I'd love to stay level, but I don't think that's going to happen. Extra long bridge, extra long money. Uh, let's see. I, I have a feeling that it doesn't really matter what we're going to do. We're going to end up with a... Uh, Bridge, check the terrain here. Yeah, see, we've got a pretty deep gully. Big hill to come down from the farm here. That can be done. Can be done. And we are in the 1800s, so it doesn't matter how tight a turn it really is at this point. I mean, most of the trains can only go around 25 miles an hour anyway. So let's get a good steep turn out of here. Going down just slightly is fine. It's a bit steep. It's, it's a steep section. Can we do any better? Well, uh, I don't know if I like that. Uh, Do a short part there. 
See what we can do if we go straight. That's a little bit better. A little bit less of a harsh down. Remember, these trains in the 1850s are... They're not the big beasts from the modern time. They, you know, modern times I wouldn't care what the slope was. Just power through it anyway. It's a nice level section. That'll work. We'll wind around through the trees. I'm gonna end up making a bridge here. Thought it'd be kind of neat going through the woods. Yeah, that could work out. Uh forgetting something here. Ah, yes, bridge type. The wooden bridges are much slower. Eventually we're going to have to use this with some faster things before we can rework it. But we'll get it reworked. We will. I don't think we're actually doing too bad so far. Alright. work on that. So we're just going to go around this horn here. Let's rise it up just a little bit. Oh, that ought to be nice. So then we go uh, gonna need that bridge to bend a bit. See how that works. Let's get rid of this old bridge, just a target anyway. And I'm going to keep it on the, uh, so we can see the, the rise coming up. Because we had some other rises and, and falls to deal with. All right, looks like that'll work. Again, there's no way anything's going to get underneath this bridge as far as the ship goes later on. But that's, that's fine. Gentle little curve there. Let's. Forgot to make that the right kind of bridge. A little bit of expenses, but eh, extra expenses. But we only have to go to here. Now it looks like we're going around uh, Robin Hood's barn. I wonder if we can take use this peninsula here. It's kind of neat. Use it as a jumping off point. Yeah, it's pretty lined up good. Uh, collision. Collision for what? What's it colliding with? Shouldn't be colliding with anything. Too shallow, maybe? Huh. That's odd. All right, well, let's try to make it less shallow. Drop that down. Not a lot less shallow. We don't have a lot of money to spend. Already down under two million left. Still have to buy a train. See if that gives us what we need. We give up on this pretty quickly. If yeah, it's not gonna work. Uh, nope, doesn't matter what we do. Island just does not want us to build on that one. We'll save that one for the birdies. OK, 
Gonna have to go across straight, I think. I do agree with the colonel here. I do wish it would leave the the earthworks and stuff from previous things that you built. Make sure we remember the bridge. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Cross over this little inlet here. Bridge. Don't forget the bridge. Uh, collision. Come on. We mean collision. Let's try the part way across trick. Bridge. Continue. Yeah, I did it. Nice and level. I don't think we're going to be able to stay that way. It's not a big drop, but as you can see from the lines, there there's a bit of a hill in front of us. Try to go through the shallowest part of it. Oh, we can stay level there. That's a bonus. Hey, nope, that's that. Oh, that's level. That'll work. A little bit of a gouge. Can we do that any better? I don't think so. All right, there we go. Bring that around. A little bit of a sharp curve, but again, we're in the 1850s, so it's not going to affect a whole lot right away. We'll have to rework that later on as things get more modern. After this episode, we're going to have to skip some more time so I can let the uh, the funds build up again. Let's just take a look at it. We'll take a ride on this thing in a little while, too. That way you can see the way it looks. It's kind of windy and all over the place, but honestly, uh, some of the trains, tracks that uh, ran through uh, my home state, Colorado, uh, they wind around all over the place, as you can imagine, the mountains out there, even today. There's still only so much of a grade that a train can go up. Let's we'll put the depot here. It's our one and only line at this point. We can always move that later. Let's, uh, okay, let's create a line. Pink, oh great, fun color. There to there. Very simple. And we gotta get our naming convention together. It's our first train. So we're gonna be Conrail. No relation to the ex-government-run, subsidized train system from the East Coast in the 60s or 70s and 80s. All right. And this is just grain. It's not food and grain. It's just grain at this point. We're going to do uh, the food delivery part over to Tolstoy here with uh, trucks, probably. So let's buy our train. All right. I think we're going to go with the Russian. Yeah, just checking out the stats here. It's not as fast, but it has a little bit more grunt. Yeah, a little bit more strength. More horses. Yeah, yeah it's going to have to be the Russian, I think. Baldwin's nice, but it's, I don't know, Baldwin, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, let's do the Baldwin, we are in the Bangorian Islands after all, so let's build the train that we can afford to build, um, let's see, four cars, Yeah, four ought to do it for now. There we go. I knew I had the balls to click on it. Let's change the color to the line. Or actually, it's assign the line. Change the color first, then assign the line. Here we go. Otherwise, the train disappears, and then you got to go chasing it. 
All right. All right, so now we need to deliver the food to the city of Tolstoy. That's not enough just to make it. They actually probably want to eat it at some point. Problem is, we can't fit. That's not going to fit in there. We could do it at the end of the road. Just trying not to hinder growth for the factory. I forget which way they grow out. We'll probably be fine here. Hmm. Okay, we only need one platform. It's just a pickup spot. Although, as we've already seen, you can pick up and you know, reload at, this, at one platform, too. Two platforms is really for two lines. So we'll do that one there. Now we need a truck depot. Or, uh, in this case, uh, with the a wagon depot or something. And then a delivery point, right in the middle of food land. Everybody wants their food. You do have to eat, so I've been told. You do have to eat. Okay, so from there to there. Again, two stops. It's really not hard. Get our naming convention in there. This is going to be Con Road, Tolstoy, Food. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, he's the American. And we'll buy as many as we can afford to here. One more. Oh, left us with just under two grand. Probably not the smartest thing in the world to do. Line is orange, paint him orange. Sign them to the line, and they're ready to go. So that's our two lines built. All right, and we are rolling. Train should come out of here in a minute. There it is. Oh, a nice pink train, look at that. Pink is definitely not my favorite color, but hey, it's the luck of the draw. This is where it ended up. Okay, so we're going to follow this one for a bit. Let's have a look and see. Let's speed it up a touch. Yeah, warp speed. Let's do it. Come on. Yeah. Come on, a little faster. There we go. And you'll notice that speed doesn't really drop off. 25 miles an hour. So enjoy the view. It's our first bridge with a nice little curve at the end. Crossing a peninsula, little inlet, another nice bridge. Now we're crossing over another bridge onto the first island. Up across the second island, and you guys see. It's got a bit of a curve to it. That's all right, it seems to be pretty attractive. And the last bridge to hop onto the mainland. Is this mainland or is it a big island? I don't remember. Probably a big island. Nice little angle here. Oh, that turned out good. 
It's all about the scenery. I mean, this is like, um, this game's like train set on steroids. I still like those kind of trains, though. The old HO stuff. Used to build with the dad down in the basement on a nice uh, 8x4 sheet of plywood. 4x8, 8x4, however you want to say it. I still have most of my trains. Maybe one of these days I'll make a uh, another layout and film that too. Okay, coming up to our bridge that goes to the woods. The viaduct, I guess it's called. More than a bridge. Yes, it's not dropping too bad. There's a lot of grain waiting there. Future, we start making some money, we're gonna make have to lengthen this train. Add some more wagons to the to the route down in Tolstoy from the ah livery stable. That's what I was trying to think of earlier. Livery stable. That's not a wagon depot. It's a livery stable. At least that's what they would have called it in the 1850s. I guess. So now we're headed back. On high speed, it's not too too bad, but on, on slow speed, that's it's going to be quite the journey. And we do have several mods going in here. Um, I don't have the mod list up yet, but uh, I think in the next episode, I'll I'll make a concerted effort to uh, throw the mods in there that I have employed on this map. And then towards the end, when we're done with the series, I'll, uh, I'll post the map itself, the save game, so you guys can continue on with it or tear it apart and do whatever you want with it. And um, With the sandbox mode in this game, you can uh, even reset the date back to when you want to reset it. I'm not sure what effect that would have, but uh, could be interesting. Could be fun. I like this approach. I like the way this turned out. Let's look at it from the road. Engineer's perspective. Yeah, it looks good. I like that. Very low bridges. Hope we don't have a storm. <laughs> Wash that bridge right out. Still on light speed here. A bit of rise to that one. That's all right, didn't seem to affect the speed too much. Here's our little gully that we created. Here are all the birdies. Back outside of it so I can take a look and let's get rid of those nasty pop-up thingies. And coming into the station. Let's see what we bring in. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, we'll let that go. And let's find out where our wagons are. Oh, looks like they've already come and gone. Slow this down. Pretty sure nobody has any food yet, being that we just got back. Ah, the food is growing. They're building it. Baking up those loaves of bread. bad. Should make us some money, I hope. We'll find out for sure. Uh, that's it. They run through all the grain. You're definitely going to have to lengthen this train. This route's very, uh, very simplistic. It's really not um, overly complex.
comes a wagon. Got it back on light speed, in case you didn't catch that. Light, light speed? Speed. Light speed. Okay. Have our first pickup. He should pick up four. Yep, four out of four. Yeah, we'll ride along with him for a minute, I think. No. Yeah, we'll just follow him for a bit. I think we might get three... Maybe three full wagons out of that. Let's uh, see where our train is at this point. All right, a little more than halfway back. All right, that's going to do it for uh, this episode of Transport Fever 2, the Bangorian Islands. Thanks for joining me. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe, definitely. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.